My name is Becca Marion and I am an English teaching assistant at the Université Catholique de Louvain, which is in louvain le neuve in Wallonia. And um, I just graduated from college. I went to Scripps College and I majored in French and minored in media studies. I first started considering a program like this when I went abroad during my junior year of university and I spent my first semester in France and then the second semester in Nepal and then we also visited Bhutan and India so um, through those experiences I realized that I really enjoy cultural exchange and meeting people in different countries and um, and then I was also interested in education in my, in my future I hope to be some kind of teacher or involved in education in, in some way so I thought this was a perfect opportunity to combine both of those interests um, being able to share American culture and learn about Belgian culture as well as um, teach English. Well, I was very interested in doing a program where I could teach English and then also be in a foreign country where I could learn about another culture. And um, my advisor in college was Belgian. And so he encouraged me, first of all, to consider going to Belgium or applying to the, the Belgium Fulbright program. And so he was probably a great catalyst for this. But after having that in mind, I researched a lot about the country and I talked to a lot of Belgians that we, I had various connections with. And I got to know um, a country that was really intriguing to me. And so um, yeah, I was very excited about Belgium as a country, but then also the opportunity to teach at the university level, which is a lot more stimulating for me intellectually. I very recently arrived in Belgium, but so far I have found that it is just a wonderful experience. Um, I'm very excited about the cultural exchange aspect of it because already I've been able to interact with Belgians. I live in a cot, which is a a system of housing here in Belgium that university students um, partake in where they live with eight to twelve other people in one shared um, accommodation and sometimes there are cots that have themes and so I'm living in a cot that has a theme and I live with eight other people and our theme is that we are all singers in the Catholic parish choir. So it's a it's been a really fun experience. I have about eight new friends basically from living there and then um, we, we get to do what we love which is to sing and there's always singing going on in the house and it, it's really brought us together very quickly even. Well I, find, I found out about my um, acceptance to the program very late in the game. I'd say it took probably 12 months for me from the point that I started thinking about doing it, started working on my application, so when I actually heard about being accepted. So it was quite quite a long process, but um, because it was so last minute, there were a lot of administrative things that needed to happen, and Fulbright has just been wonderful in helping me get through that and then providing me with the guidelines and the expectations so that it can be a very smooth transition. And even though it was very last minute, um, it's been a very wonderful, smooth transition, and it's great to have that support here in Belgium. The actual application itself doesn't take too long, but the, the rounds of decisions take a while. So there's a lot of energy that you spend in the very beginning preparing your application, doing interviews if, you, if you're affiliated with a college or university. And so the, there's a lot of front loading of work, but then afterwards it's a lot of waiting, I would say. But for people who are considering doing an English teaching assistantship, I would very much recommended. I think that it's one of the greatest ways to really get in the community and to learn about Belgium in return as you are also teaching about America. So I think that's really exciting. Plus it, it depends on your your country too. Here in Belgium all of the ETAs work at universities so they'll be working with students with a fairly high level of English and therefore you can in interact in more cultural discussions rather than um, more basic and elementary uh, English language discussions.